The popular Jane Elliott, the activist Jane Elliott, known for her blue eyes, brown eyes experiments, recently said the N-word and she was caught on camera doing so. And now the video of her saying the N-word is presently making the rounds on TikTok and it has everybody talking. The video of her saying the N-word was made publish by this guy on TikTok who goes by the name Ichronic Username. Now, he actually witnessed the whole thing go down in person because he was present at an event where Jane Elliott was present amongst other people and he heard her in person say the N-word and he actually called her out for it. Without further ado, now I'm just going to let the video roll exactly as the video is on his page on TikTok and I'll meet you at the end. Jane Elliott said the N-word during Black History Month and I was the only person in that room who called her out. And I finally got the footage. Here it is. Yeah. <laughs> I've been called angry a lot. Well, you've been called what? Angry, angry, angry. a lot. Oh, I thought you said I was going to say that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and I was going to correct you for that. Too. No, I don't. But you were saying not to refer to people as black or white. How do we bring attention to the disparities? Stop saying it. But and then they're going to say to you, I want to be called black. And then you're going to say, do you want to be called Vicious and savage and evil. I can do that for you. You want me to call your child vicious and savage and evil? Do you know the history of that word? Because if you don't know the history of that word, why it's used, and maybe that's the reason you're willing to use it. Once you hear the history of the word, I think you'll say to yourself, this is a good idea. And I don't want to call them wet because it's a derogatory term. I know that for years it was seen as a derogatory term, so, they, so young blacks decided they'd be called black. No, it's still a derogatory term. That's still the history of that word. And it still means that you are less than. Because white means goodness and purity, people. And if black means savagery and evil, which one do you want to be called? Which one do you want to be called? How can you talk about a word and the history behind it when you just said the N-word, hard R? I said, I said that to him for him and for me, not for you to worry about. But you worry about it if you want to. I never, ever say that word that I said that's real offended. No. Don't be offended for him. He can be offended for himself. You don't have to look for him. You understand that? He and I, he and I have met and have talked, and he knows where I'm coming from, and I know where he's coming from. And he and I don't see that as a derogatory term. We know exactly what we're talking about. Wow. You see, you see it as a derogatory term. You had better use it. If it's a derogatory term to you, don't use it. I ordinarily don't use it. I use it here with that young man. Number one, he's younger than I am, and if he doesn't listen, I'll spank him. <laughs> Number two, he's bigger than I am, and I'm not going to mess with him. Number three, he and I understands about that, understand about that word, and we know it is unacceptable. Now, if the only thing you have heard in all the things I've been saying here is the word N-I-G-G-E-R, that means you've got, you, you're reacting negatively to that and thinking about that instead of thinking about all the rest of what I've said. While these people were listening, yeah. and you were feeling bad about the N-word. Yeah, I feel like a, any realistic, genuine reaction, I feel like everybody in this room heard you say hard R, maybe not everybody, and they were horrified. No. No? No. 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 Nope. Why don't you speak for yourself, dear? Now, what you probably weren't able to tell from that video is I have terrible social anxiety. So I was trying not to cry the whole time, and I was in complete shock. I mean, I feel like most people would be when the famous activist Jane Elliott is scolding them in front of a whole group of people agreeing with her that she, as a white woman, can say the N-word. As you heard her say in that clip, saying that black people are black is offensive due to the history and context behind that word. And then she says the N-word. The hypocrisy is glaring. Hi, this is an update from Future Preston who got that video, you know, it got um, not by me. Um, I just want to, I, I think I should really clarify some of my reasoning behind posting that video um, because I think a, like so much was lost on that. So the people who are in my life who are black explained to me that they wanted me to not only low battery, but they wanted me that they were glad that I said something. There were black people in that room who were glad that I said something. There are black people that I've never even met who I saw in the comments of the previous video were glad that I said something.
There were black people who reached out to me that said, hey, I think in that context, that was acceptable. I'm not here to tell you that you're wrong. I'm here to say Jane Elliott said that. Everything I've been taught post-indoctrination tells me that what she said wasn't okay. I hope that I, I hope that clarifies it. Yo, her gaslighting game is crazy, man. And the way she refused to admit that her saying that word was wrong of her. So instead, she decided to flip the whole thing around and make this young man feel like he's the one who is crazy and wrong in the situation for calling her out for saying a word that she should not have been saying. The fact that she thought that saying the N-word was okay, but then in the same breath after saying the N-word, she started talking about how the word black is a derogatory term. Talking about the history of the word black and why the word black should not have been used, but then she said the N N Yo! To the person she said she thought had said the N-word, she said, oh, I was going to correct it if it was the N-word you actually said. And then she said the N-word. So that person can't say it, but she can say it. And she doesn't need to get corrected for saying it. And something else that stood out for me in this clip is how she is very much aware of the power dynamic that is in her favor here. Her being aware of how the people in the room sees her and how they look up to her based on who she is and who she is acclaimed to be. So she knows of the power that she has to advantage here. Given that she decided to, you know, after effing up, turn to these people that look up to her and, you know, see her as some kind of like idol, someone they want to be when they grow up, I guess, right? She's looking at these people and saying, oh, do you think I'm wrong? Yes, of course, these people are going to say, no, we don't think you are wrong because these people are looking up to this person. So there is a very high chance that the majority of them will take her side because of who she is and who she is acclaimed to be. It's just crazy to me that she used these people. That's how I see it. You guys will let me know if you see it any different. But to me, watching this, I'm like, she used these people as pawns. Like, it's just crazy to me that this much people were there in that room and they all heard her use that word, say that word and they didn't have a problem with her saying it. Hell, they heard her say the word and they acted like it wasn't even the word they just heard her say that she said. I can understand the black people in the background who did not say anything after she said the word because obviously, as we can all guess as black people, they must have been in shock. Because I don't think, as a black person, before now, before all of this went down, you are thinking of going to a Jane Elliott event. I don't think you would be preparing yourself to hear her say the N-word. Because, again, of who she is and who she is acclaimed to be and the work that she's known to do, right? So you would not be thinking the N-word is a word you'll be hearing at this kind of event and especially coming from her so of course there is no prior preparation whatsoever mentally right so hearing the word can really throw you off balance as a black person especially coming from someone like her i'm going to be ending this video on this brother's video because it is he said in his video were just so perfectly worded and they are like my conclusion but he said them better than i could so i'm just going to let his clip roll instead thank you very much for watching of course do let me know down below in the comment section what your thoughts are and i'll see you guys in the next one Yo, this video of Jane Elliott using the N-word hard R during Black History Month and then being called out by a white student for doing so and then continuing to double down on her right to do it is an opportunity for us to learn and revisit the fact that we need to adhere to principles, ideas, and ideals, not the human being. No one, as another creator on this platform said, no one is above reproach. That includes me. That includes you. That includes Beyonce. That includes Taylor Swift. That includes Barack Obama. That includes any politician, any religious leader, any teacher, any parent, any family member. The principles and ideals that we espouse are the ones that will hold ourselves accountable when we cross the line. And inevitably, Every human being crosses the line, which is why we have to stop the hero worship. We have to stop the celebrity worship. I am disappointed and saddened that Jane Elliott did that, but I am not shocked or surprised. I'm not shocked or surprised, not because I didn't believe in her work, not because I didn't think the work was good, but because she's a human being and she's a white woman in America. 
she's going to do things that are problematic because we're sitting in a world that creates that circumstance over and over again, unless you're constantly unpacking it for yourself, not just teaching it to other people. For yourself, you're going to make that mistake. And even when you do all the inner work and you do all the outer work, you still may do something that is problematic and reprehensible, especially when it comes to using language incorrectly and thinking you're so comfortable. You know, my grandma used to have a, a saying where she was like, don't get so comfortable you put your feet on my bed. That's what happens. When you're in a house that you're not familiar with, you start doing things you would do in your own house. And that's the same thing that happens with allies and advocates and people who work in communities that they are not a part of. They get too comfortable and they put their feet on the bed. That's what happened to Jane Elliott. That's what happens to a lot of people, though. That's why you adhere to the principles, ideals, and ideas, not the person.